Okay, so this video is for new players, returning players, anybody who watches my channel, all right? If you like Fairy Tale, I highly recommend giving this game a try. I wasn't sure how I felt about it when I started because normally I like turn based gotcha games where you're going to be taking turns like in My Hero All Dream Pack, Dokkan Battle, things like that. Like Dragon Ball Legends is not really my forte. That's why I've only done a few videos on it because I just, I don't know, I don't enjoy it all that much when it's not a turn based gotcha. How However, I will say, even though this game is not a turn-based gotcha, it's very different from like a, a normal PvP gotcha game, at least to me, the way it feels. I think it feels great. I think they've done a great job with the character animations, with the way the characters look. The characters feel hype when you pull for them. Each character does things different. They have stuns, they have debuffs, they have buffs that matter. It's all a lot of fun to me. I think it's really, really good. And so the purpose of this video today is to talk about the newest character who is going to be coming out. Now, the one thing that people don't like about this game that really turns people away is when they first log in they see servers and they're like yeah no i'm out uh, because the servers scare them away and to be honest i was like uh, this is kind of weird but the servers make sense once you get into the game because of the way they do leaderboards and stuff like that they want everybody to have a chance to be at the top of a leaderboard to get free diamonds and stuff like that and so it actually works out really well that they have servers so everybody has a chance to actually get more free summons essentially is the way that works and then additionally it also changes the way banners are released for you depending on which server you join if you join a newer server like the higher the number the newer the server is the lower the number the older the server is so like server one is older server 93 which is what i am on is a relatively newer server and so depending on which server you join you may be getting different banners, okay? So eventually, from my understanding and the way it seems to work, is that you will catch up to whatever the current server is on banner-wise. Right now, I believe my server is starting to get there, but the thing is, when you do that, you are gonna be missing a banner or two in between. So like, I'm missing Urza's banner. I did have the Ikaruga banner and I had the Jalal banner, summoned on Jalal, did not get Ikaruga, so that was unfortunate, but like, it's okay. It's okay that I missed Urza. It's okay that I missed Loxus's banner because they'll probably be back eventually. But for now, Mira Jane is supposed to be coming out on Wednesday. So the purpose of, the, of this video is to talk about what Mira Jane can do and to talk about whether you guys should be summoning or not for this character. So first off, just hype factor alone absolute mommy of a character one of my favorite characters in the anime and this is just one of her forms right so i can't wait till we see the other forms outside of satan form this is going to be so sick though to get this particular character and the nice thing about this game i think this is really cool too is even if you don't have the character yet obviously i don't have her she is locked right you can go and skill preview the character regardless no matter what time it is, that character is always there. The banner doesn't have to be there for you to skill preview. You can do it at any point in time, which is cool because she hasn't even released yet on any other servers at the time of recording this video. So very, very excited to be talking about this character. The uh, first move for Mirror Jane is going to be called Demon Claw. And what this is going to do is it's going to Satan Soul Mirror Jane performs a crossing claw attack, dealing darkness P damage, physical damage, I think is what that stands for. Don't Yell at me if I don't get that 100% right. There's like physical damage and magic damage from my understanding. Equal to 32% of physical damage plus 106 to enemies in the front of her. So it's a front facing attack. Refresh the duration of super crumble on the hit enemy. Okay, and Super Crumble reduces uh, physical defense and magic defense by 7.5% and damage reduction by 30% for 12 seconds. That's pretty good reducing defense. I think that's always going to be good on any character, right? So the fact that she's going to be reducing defense is going to allow your DPS to go through the roof and that can help you a lot in like the prediction stages or stuff like that later on, especially when you need higher DPS. Anytime you lower defense, it's going to raise your DPS, so I think that's pretty good. And then her skill two is called Darkness Stream. And so what this is going to do, Satan Soul Mirror Jane performs a crossing claw. Oh, wait, 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 wait. it's the same thing, right? Yeah, okay. I thought I was reading skill one again. Performs a crossing claw attack followed by a series of punches. Yeah, this one's the combo. Dealing darkness, physical damage equal to 40% of physical attack plus 121 two enemies in the front and then here's the cool thing inflict stun for the duration of the punching or clawing and during that stun they are unable to act so the interesting thing about this you're like well that's cool they're stunned while they're being hit but why does that matter well this is actually a relatively long combo and so for the duration of this combo say you use skill two 
and you switch out a character right as you press skill 2 to another character, the character that is doing the move finishes out their move in this game, so she'll finish doing her entire skill 2, and during that time that Mira Jane is doing her skill 2, you have now put another character out on the battlefield who is going to be able to hit the enemies at the same time while they're stunned. So it's actually pretty good and that's pretty decent considering how long this combo is. I'll show you it of course in the skill preview. And then for the skill 3 it's called Evil Explosion. Uh, Satan Soul Mira Jane creates a vortex of magical power to unleash a powerful magical shockwave dealing darkness physical damage equal to 53% of physical attack plus 178. The magic vortex will inflict fear and the shockwave will inflict magic dispel. Casting this skill also grants control immunity, okay? So that's a lot of stuff happening right there. So magic dispel is going to reduce fire, wind, earth, ice, darkness, light, and light defense by 4.3% for 12 seconds. So if you've seen for a lot of characters, they'll say they'll have extra fire defense or wind defense, whatever. And they also can get this from the orbs as well. So keep that in mind. Lowering that defense as well is going to help you do more damage, which is really sick. And then the fear, lose self-control and run in all directions for 1.6 seconds is what's going to happen to the enemies when you cast this as well. So really good skill. All of her skills have such good effects in my opinion. And then her skill four or her ultimate skill and this one is pretty interesting so soul extinction i believe is what this one is called yep satan soul mirror Jen gathers powerful magical energy to create a magical black hole dealing darkness physical damage equal to 48 percent of physical attack plus 197 the black hole will inflict a super crumble on enemies and has a powerful attraction Casting this skill also grants control immunity. So Super Crumble reduces their physical and magical defense by 7.5% and damage reduction by 30% for 12 seconds. That's big. And then she gets <laughs> the invincibility immune to all damage and control for 1.2 seconds. So I really like the skill and the way it does the cutscene and everything, very, very cool. I have kind of already looked at her stuff because I am so excited for this character. Now the passive. Satan Soul, gain magic surge when casting Evil Explosion. Enhanced damage increased by 20% for eight seconds. That's pretty good, just extra damage. So not only are you gonna be lowering defense, she's also gonna be increasing her own damage, allowing you just to pop off with this character, which is insane. Now this is her leader skill, and I don't think her leader skill is like super, super great. I prefer uh, more defensive leader skills. Like I really like Cobras for the enhanced dodge, giving enhanced dodge to your entire team, I think is pretty good. Now there's, I, you know, to each their own, right? Like, but uh, let's go through this. With Satan Soul Mary Jane as captain, all allies gain magic burst when Mary Jane gains magic surge, okay? So you have to get magic surge first. And then this, is, when you do that and you're able to switch to other characters, they will have magic burst and it increases their next skill, skill damage by 12% up to two stacks. So I don't know. It's okay. We'll see if it, it might be better than I'm thinking it's going to be. I don't know. I don't think it's going to be super crazy with the leader skill right now, but let me know in the comments if you guys think it's going to be good or not if you play the game. And then the last but not least, we have the second origin or the ether nano passive, whatever you want to call this, right? So this is if you get her to six stars and you get all this other stuff. So uh, aptitude reaches rare, 15% chance to gain magic surge when casting skills and basic attacks. So that will make the leader skill a lot better if you're getting magic surge more often, right? Aptitude reaches SR, gain reduced damage taken when casting evil explosion. And then aptitude reaches SSR, gain magic seed at the start of battle when magic seed is triggered, recover 50% of max HP, which is then deducted after 10 seconds. If HP is insufficient, death occurs, triggers once per battle. So essentially, from my understanding, magic seed, when taking fatal damage, gain invincibility for three seconds and refresh soul extinctor. And uh, basically when she's about to die, I think she recovers 50% of her max HP for 10 seconds. She has a chance to then basically pop off a little bit before she finally dies, which I think if that, if my understanding is correct on that, sometimes the wording is not the greatest on this, but I do think that is pretty cool as well. Of course, that requires you to just go crazy on your summons for her. And most people aren't going to do that. Most people are going to go for a copy or maybe like two or three to get her to four stars. But yeah, I think Mira Jane is looking very, very good. Now with that said, let's hop into the skill preview. We're going to go through the skills one by one. So starting with skill one here, or just look at the way she runs around too. I, I'm kind of sad that she's not flying. I wish she fl was flying. I think that would be sick, but that's okay. All right. So skill one. All right. There's a combo right there. Skill two. 
Okay, so they're stunned for that combo, right? That's that long combo that I was talking about. So the entire time that you are attacking right here with this combo, they're stunned and you could switch in another character for that amount of time right there and hit them without any repercussions, which is nice, okay? So skill one and the skill two both look very, very good, right? Both straight lines, not the craziest range. They got a decent range, I think, like from right here. Yeah, that's decent range, right? For what that is, it's supposed to be like a melee attack. How far back can we go? Oh, we didn't want to. It just went to the nearest enemy, my bad. Okay, well, let's try from right here. Okay, the end of it hit them, right? So not terrible, not super crazy on the range on skill one. Let's try skill two. We'll stand, let's stand like right here. Skill two. Okay, yep, it's it's limited on the range, but for what the abilities are, right? I don't think they're meant to be long range skills, so not bad, not bad. Okay, let's try using skill three. Okay, that's the one that pulls them in and then does, okay, okay. Let's try the, so Satan's Soul Mirror Jane creates a Vortex Magical Power, and that's going to, this is the one that puts the fear on them, right? Okay. And it also reduces their specialty defenses of wind, earth, all that good stuff. So you want to use this one probably when you're near enemies, if you can, or if you're surrounded by enemies, that's going to work a little bit better, and then you're able to fear them. Okay, that's not bad. I wonder, will it pull people from behind us? Let's, let's uh, stand this way and try it. I need to make sure she's actually facing away when we do this and she doesn't turn towards him. Oh, she just does it automatically. Okay. Well, anyways, it should it should hit people even if they're... Let's. Okay, we'll get everybody right here. Yeah, it doesn't matter if they're behind you. It'll get them all. Okay, cool. Yep, that's what I thought would happen. I mean, that would be kind of the obvious thing, like, duh, but it does work that way. And then last but not least, we have her soul extinction right here where we're going to create a black hole and put super crumble on them. So let's go ahead and see how that works. Yo, she has invincibility for that amount of time because it does. I don't like the way it doesn't pan the camera back around, though. That's my only complaint, right? Like, I have to do that myself. But I do like that the way they do the cutscene is sick. Like, I love that. Like, it's so it does it every time. And she has the wings come out right there, too. She has the wings. So, I mean, I guess they put the wings in there. You just can't use them normally, which is unfortunate. But Mirror Jane looks very, very, very good. Okay, so I'm I'm excited to play this character. Uh, we'll have to see kind of how she fits in with the other characters once she's in the game. I will be doing a tier list eventually for this game. I want to be, uh, you know, as honest as I can with it, though. I want to be as accurate as I can with the tier list when I eventually get to that point. So I want to build up all of my other SSRs first, get them to a point where they're comparable to my best SSR character, which is Jalal right now, like almost 500,000. So if I can get all my characters roughly like 400, 500,000, try them out, see how they do. And then I'll try to put together some tier lists here and see kind of where I think Mirror Jane as well as all the other characters rank in tier list. So if you guys would like to see that in the future, make sure you go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And then as of right now, if I were to say like um, compared to the other characters, just based on the way her kit feels like and what she can do, if I were to say how good she is, I think she's going to be pretty close to like on Jalal's level. Jalal is by far in every way my best character right now. He is a very, very good character in the game. He'll carry you through a lot of content with the things that he can do. And I think Mirror Jane will be probably a close second for me. Now, keep in mind, I am missing Urza and I'm missing Loxus, who I believe are also pretty decent based on the character previews and what I have trialed with them. I also have Angel and I have Leo and like, I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of either of those characters. Angel's okay. Leo, in my opinion, is kind of lackluster. So I do think Mirror Jane overall is definitely going to be a pull character. Try to get at least a copy of her, ideally like three copies of her to be able to get her to four stars. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys are going to do down in the comments. Are you guys excited for Mirror Jane? Because I know I am. I haven't been this hyped for like a gacha game in a hot minute. Like I liked Black Clover when it came out, but like Fairy Tale, I I don't know why guys. It's literally my favorite anime. And so I am just so excited for this. I'm so excited for this game. Let's go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.